Greetings. Uh, I'm just gonna chill point, I think. Okay, we're good. I just... No! Okay. That's twice now. That's twice now. I've done that twice! I'm gonna be in another YouTube intro! For myself! Hold on, I already killed the Doom. It's not that hard to stop yapping. Not stop. Stop. We won. We literally- we won. People just love hearing their own voice. Yeah. I want to shoot myself anytime I see or hear myself, to be honest. Real. I don't ever take, uh, videos of myself either. I mean, I've been taking a few more recently. My confidence has kind of been up a little bit recently, which feels weird. It was like that when I was in a relationship and then I got shattered when I got broken up with. And now we're back. We're so fucking back. But before- but before I got into a relationship, I wasn't confident at all. So I feel like this is like a, this is like a, like a good thing. I've genuinely ripped my friend's phones out of their hands when they try to take a picture of me. Me too. My, my friends know it at this point. If they ever tried to, and they do, they know I'm cutting them off immediately and never talking to them again, which I've threatened to do. And I've done it before. And I've given them real world examples as with, with people I've done that to before. So they know not to take pictures of me. Yeah, I can't do pictures. I also can't allow myself to be vulnerable around people. I don't know if that's a massive thing for you guys as well. I'm only vulnerable with one person and I have said my deepest secrets that I wouldn't trust myself with to them. I tell secrets to people, but I can't be vulnerable in a way where like, I can, I can like show that I'm sad. I got broken up with an hour before my friends came over. And I had to act like nothing happened and I didn't feel anything. All friends are paid actors. I have a genuine fear. That, um, my friends are being paid off to be friends with me. But I know, I know, like, my closer friends are here for the long ride. Because you want to know how I've made my closer friends, guys? I made them bother me for genuine weeks on end before I ever spoke back to them. That's how you know I got some real ones here. Because they had to become friends with me, and then I became friends with them. There's an order to these things. You're not coming back here for a reason, right? Oh, you're coming back for my widow, aren't you? Oh. Do you wanna? We can. I'm right here. I'm here for you, buddy. Hey, I'm right here, man. What's up? You've suddenly decided to stop throwing. This does not make much sense to me, but okay. Pop off, Genji. You might have just stolen my play. Now I'm sad. That's so hot, Genji. My pants fell down. What about my 3K where I just shot my funny buttons? Where I just shot my funny primary fire? Why don't I ever get compliments like that? I'm so sad. I'm so fucking needy. Wow. I'm so needy. Holy shit. That's embarrassing as fuck. Never mind, guys. I don't actually care. As you're wanting validation from Child Eater on Overwatch, I just need validation in general. I need, I need like, like some sort of praise for every single little action that I do. You get what I'm saying? There are enough people with praise kings in your chat as please. Okay. You just went into a tree in a pole twice. Um, awkward. What was the stream name so I can make sure to never check it out? Ice, icy volcano here. Let me look it up real fast. Let me go to Twitch, shall we? Cheers, my friends. The shark cam blocking it. Okay, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were dating in eighth grade? Yes. I got into a two and a half year relationship from fourth to sixth grade. What? Which doesn't really count, and I don't count it because we are literally just friends. But we wanted to be cool. I dated very, very consistently from the ages of like, I want to say, unfortunately, this sounds cringe as fuck, but 12 to like 15 or 14, but not 15, actually 14. I don't really count 12, obviously, but it was, it, it was in and out over and over with different people, right? And then I didn't date for two and a half years. And then I got into a relationship again after knowing them for three weeks uh don't do that that relationship was good and all right no animosity from my side at least and then i got another firm reminder as to why i don't date guys it sounds bad saying that i dated someone that was a fan of me because it sounds like it's a situation where i'm 20 and they're 16 but i swear we were both 16. that just sounds bad but don't do that regardless of the age actually because it's like a really bad idea and it's the relationship will not go well 
because they don't know you and also guys if you're in a relationship never get comfortable with the fact that you're dating them or never like never like never stop having a crush on them is basically what i'm saying i think kind of stupid isn't that the point of a relationship well yeah but i feel like the feelings of having a crush on somebody in comparison to the feelings of being in a relationship with somebody are two different things because when you have a crush on somebody you don't already have them if you are in the relationship with them after not being in it you could lose like the strong feelings that you had from having a crush on somebody in comparison to if you just keep those strong feelings of having a crush then right all is well what if my partner talked about other boys all the time do i kill her uh it depends on what the context is i'm talking about that's really bad the fuck die damn anyways for the like for like an example like like say they're like talking about other guys right my my ex talked about their exes like not like commonly but not uncommonly and i'm not saying that to paint them in a negative light it just happened and i didn't really bitch about it but if they just sat there comparing me to them then that would have felt shitty saying that i was better at this but worse at this but that didn't happen they were just kind of yapping she wouldn't talk about exes she talked about she talked about boys she was currently entertaining what the fuck does entertaining mean and compare me to them all or compared me all the time to them yeah no that's not a good thing that's a that's an immediate breakup or a serious discussion waiting to happen i i would say serious discussion i was cocked okay well it depends on if you're into that or not <laughs> I guess. I had a boneless wing once and I was having some gay fantasies that didn't occur beforehand. <laughs> Bro, what? How does that- <laughs> What does that even mean? How does that happen with a boneless wing? Did you want to fuck the wing? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Relationships are good for you as long as they're healthy and whatnot and blah blah blah. You should probably date because if you don't, you could possibly meet the one right but it's kind of like i'm gonna describe this in overwatch terms it's kind of like being in your rank up game right but you didn't play enough the season before and you just you just stopped at your rank up game and then you start playing next season you're not going to be good enough and you're not going to have any practice so you're not going to be able to so you could meet the one and it could be horrible timing because you just don't know what you're doing and you could argue right well if they're, if they're the one then it's gonna like just if if they're the one it's gonna work out anyways but i don't really think the the one quote unquote is found i think it's kind of like made you know what i'm saying like you don't just find the one it's not just the denrick gambling you don't find the one you you make it happen is it normal to be arrow and still want to experience or still want the experience of a relationship yes yeah arrow is a spectrum everything's a spectrum except for how dog shit this map is it's at the very bottom actually do we want to tackle any other uh hard Handing topics. Is Junkrat a spectrum? No, but he's on it. <laughs> I'm Arrow and I hate everyone, so I'm not dating. If you're Arrow and you're not dating, I think that makes more sense. But if you, like, actively want a relationship, but you're just choosing to stay out of them, kind of like how I did for two and a half years, then that's probably not good. And I think you should probably date. I'm scared whoever I try to pursue realize I'm a total loser and explode me in their mind. Dude, you can like you can like lay it out beforehand. You can say that you're a big loser. I said that I was a fuck you, men kisser twelve. Sorry. It may honestly not even stream seem like it on stream, but I am a big loser. I have no hobbies outside of this. I don't have many friends. I don't do many other things outside of this. I don't really do anything. I don't want to date and then get to know you know. Yeah, no, that's a really bad idea, and don't do that, guys. Because that's what happened with my, my that's what happened with my last relationship. Like they they thought they knew me right they started to love me they fell in love with me and whatnot and then they knew me it was supposed to be a fresh start but no matter how many starts i get there's always the same ending i don't eat it it's kind of cringe and will never work out i don't think that's true i don't think it'll i don't think it'll never work out i don't think eating works because everybody has an internet persona to some extent and no matter how long you know somebody online you won't know them you won't know them truly. There's something a screen does to someone's brain that makes them a little different. I don't really feel like that's the case with me. Like, obviously, I have an online persona, right? That's literally what streaming is for me. 
At least I'm not exactly always genuine on here. Shimmer wouldn't lie to me. Shimmer wouldn't lie to me. Shimmer wouldn't lie to me. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not just going to lie to you. But I'm not going to be 100% genuine either. Oh my god! I killed him from 400 health! I, I, can, I can be very similar to my self in real life as I am online. Online? How I am with some people online is how I want to be with people in real life. But I don't like exactly outwardly express myself. Shimmer, six for two, shimmer, six for two, shimmer, six for two. Streamer wouldn't lie to me. I am six for two. That would be something dumb to uh, lie about. What were we talking about? You're talking about personas online. Oh my God, persona like the game? Holy shit. Persona? Oh my God, a persona like the game? Persona? I feel like I have a kind of similar persona to Shalat in a sense where i can kind of like have a switch that i just kind of turn on when i start streaming and i can turn it off and on whenever i want and that's kind of that's kind of what this is honestly because i'm so much more chill off stream you could ask my friends how the fuck how long am i hitting zero of these shots dude are they stupid press one for yes press two for more answers as an indigenous queer femme presenting person i will never trust a police person that's fair. I don't trust police initially until they give me a reason to be chill with them. Like one time I was, okay, Ezra Lore, Ezra Lore. One time me and my friends that were out on a midnight walk and we were, we were looking sketch as fuck, honestly. We were all dressed in black. It was not looking good for us. We looked really, really suspicious and we got the police called on us. So they pulled up, right? One of my friends ran, first of all. What a fucking dumbass. He just booked it. Oh, nice. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit locked in, but also not really, because look at these shots. Look at how ass they are. Bad shots. Bad shots? More like back shots. Ah! With the, the the police got called on us, and we were we were at a sign that was a Pokestop at a park near us. Because I was I, I, we were literally out so I could play Pokemon Go. But yeah, police called on us. They pulled up. They, 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 they like, opened their doors. They walked out. Or they didn't even open their doors. They rolled down their window, which is a good sign, number one. And I like I was like very standoffish at first, obviously, because it's a police officer in America. And then I realized that they were like low-key chill. One of my friends was absolutely sucking up to them. I mean, like, I swear, I'd never do anything wrong or against the law. We were just out for a walk. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. My aunt's a policewoman. Dude, shut the fuck up. I've got this handled. I showed them my damn Dragonite, and they were like, okay, cool. This dude's cool literally what happened showed this dude my 3500 combat power dragonite they're like oh shit didn't know you were cool like that and then we were fine does your mom fuck with the streaming vision probably not i'd go ahead and say no she's probably still under the impression that i'm going to college she's really not gonna like the idea that if this doesn't work out i kill myself i don't re i really don't think she's gonna like that stop playing overwatch and not killing yourself would be so much easier i don't even want to but if streaming doesn't work out i physically have nothing left I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have any pets. I don't have any other hobbies outside of this. I don't have anything else to live for. And that's not me being nihilistic. And that's not me looking for attention or anything. That's me just speaking my truth. I don't think I have anything after high school. I might actually end it. I got plans for college, but that's a formality at that point. I don't got plans for college. I'm not good at anything else. And I don't like doing anything else. And I, if I was stuck with a day job forever and I couldn't do this, then I would have physically nothing to live for at some point i i was I, I was at the point where i think i got too used to my life being good i had a pet and i had a i had a partner i had a pet and i had a partner and no those things don't fall into the same category and i was like okay well maybe maybe if this doesn't work out maybe it's okay after all maybe i could have something else to do and then my my rat died which i was expecting obviously and then i got broken up with six days later so um there's just not much going on anymore but it's crazy because with that i cried about it the day of and then i got over it but i didn't have the chance to do that with my ex because they broke up with me like an hour before uh before i had people over worth i literally told my friends they were like are you okay because like they knew i cared right and i was like yeah my rat died six days ago this is nothing i can just swallow this I could have done the very easy thing and like, like force myself to like hate them as a coping mechanism to, uh, to get over them. But I didn't want to do that. I can never hate my exes. I could, I could, I guys, I, I very much could. And I could sit here and I could frame myself to be the victim of a relationship 
and say that in the last couple days they didn't treat me very well and then after the relationship they definitely didn't treat me very well i could i could i, I have tens of reasons that i could dislike them and i could i could say that i'm a victim here but in actuality i feel like we were just kind of victim of coincidence you know what i'm saying like i i saw there was a there was a uh, there was a video that went around of uh in amesy's chat i think amesy what do i do if i want to die mate we don't care we don't care stop talking about ending your life in twitch chat what do you want us to do do we look like samaritans there's like millions of phone numbers google one of them google one of them there's people who are paid to care all right i said my piece and it's like listen i understand that you want your streamer for comfort but that's the most it can ever be. The most it can ever be is comfort. A streamer, a streamer can not be your therapist, but they can be your comfort. Like if you're ever in that headspace, right? There's numbers, there's numbers to call and whatnot. But don't just don't just like go into a stream and repeatedly say that. Most of the time you won't be greeted very friendly, which I, I'm not. I'm not saying that they're a bad person if we're not doing that. It makes perfect sense that they're do not doing that. They're working right now. And it's fine that you can be there and you can hopefully have them make you feel better they don't need to uh they don't need to sit there and they don't need to tell you that everything will be okay and they don't need to they don't need to give you tips and tricks on how not to want to end your life they they can they can be there solely as a, a, a vessel in which to be happy you don't know how to hit a shot and you don't know how to be kind to other people Kindness goes a long way, guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck's 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 wrong with you? The fuck is wrong with you? Fuck it, I'm out of here. Every streamer who directly acknowledges you is your friend, though. Yeah, no, I don't know if that's true. I don't think I could say me and Super TF are friends. I don't think me and Super TF are friends because I told him about how I want to, about how I would uh sniff a fart out of Ada's colon. I don't think that makes us friends. <laughs> Me and Ezra are not friends. I'm not friends with any of you, except for Kino, who I've talked to outside of stream, and we're cool outside of stream. That's the only motherfucker I'm friends with here. And I don't even know if Kino's here right now. I think they're lurking. Vibin, thank you for the thank you for the 1,000 bits, dog. I appreciate that. Wowee. Thanks for the $10. Huge biddies. I wish I had I wish the noise was louder and it was more exaggerated. Because I'm 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 I'm, I'm chill Ezra right now. I'm in that mood. I'm in that mode. So I'm not really, uh, I'm not going crazy over the bits. I do appreciate it though, even if it doesn't seem like I'm going crazy over them. Thank you. Do I always have a, guys, do I always have a monotone voice? Like, like it has been for the like, like last, like, like while though, right? So fun fact about me, off stream, always, always monotone, never expressive, constantly. That's a funny thing about me. That's kind of like, that's kind of what I was talking about, you know? Like the mask that I put on whenever I uh, start streaming. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's, I'm not doing like a cringy thing like Dream. I, 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 I change it artificially whenever I like stream or I'm making content usually. Except for Apex, which is just chill at night. I rely on my friends to carry that shit usually. I'm not gonna lie. I have a friend who has a monotone voice and you have two of two very different voices. You don't know what I sound like off stream, though. You guys are getting a small bit of a glimpse of it, like, in the last little bit. Do you still have fun with Overwatch, or does it feel like a job? Uh, I still have fun with it. <clears throat> I still have fun with it. No voice crack there. I think, I think the fun of playing this game is less playing it and more playing it while streaming. Because streaming has always been the more fun for, part for me. Like, his voice is 24-7 sleepy voice. Like, the voice you get after being on call for someone, with someone for hours since, like, 2 a.m. I have a sleepy voice, but uh, you guys will never fucking hear that shit. And by sleepy, I don't mean I'm tired and I'm streaming. I mean, I was basically already asleep, but staying awake for specifically someone. And then, and then still talking to them. Because there is a certain voice for that. Then let's not get it twisted. That is just fucked up. That's a fucked up thing you just did, Reinhardt. That you sleep called you fucking degenerate? One time I was on the phone for a week straight with somebody. And it was a situation ship. Oh god. Oh god, it was a situation ship. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh no. Okay, that's it for this video. Go check out my Twitch because everything that happens there is very similar to my videos. And if you like the video, please like the video because people usually like the things they like. Okay, bye.